it's windy. I don't have my little wind thing on the camera, so if the audio sucks, then welcome to YouTube. Look at this well pump, though. Wow. I'll be a nice little doobie and take their take their cardboard box. What about this thing? Coat rack? No. What about this thing? The Toro Flex Force battery charger. What about that thing? Quarter inch socket? Do you need that? No, but I'm gonna take it. What about this thing? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, piece of wire. Ooh, piece of wire. <laughs> There's your thumbnail, lady. I thought I wasn't gonna take any of this crappy, like, mixed wire anymore, but I guess I am. Ooh, piece of wire. Ooh, ring doorbell. Ooh, supreme pizza. Ooh, look what I saw. Ooh, kid's shoe. Ooh, saw blade. Ooh, I touched the kid's shoe. Ooh, another saw blade. I don't know why I'm dedicating so much time to this one crappy, uh, pile. Right, we don't need your remote controls, lady. Or your light socket. Or this thing. Your Tom Tom. God, I touched the remote control. It's all gross and sticky too. Yuck. All right, do I want that air conditioner? No. Do I want any more of these sockets? Yes. 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 What's in here? What is that? I don't know what it is, but I'll put it in my pocket. All right, I guess that's enough of that. Thank you very much, lady. Have a nice day. And for uh, those of you who are watching this, I hope we all have a nice day. Welcome to Trash Picking. This looks like an untouched pile of goodies. So let's touch it. What's that? Hmm. An elaborate photo album. I don't know if this thing's really copper, but if it is. You wanna put a magnet on it? Just in case, so we don't get ripped off. Look at that. Ooh, where'd my magnet go? Into Narnia. All right, so that was a uh, positive development in our life. Let's see, do we want a bunt pan? No, leave that for the next lady. What about this though? Fine Lennox. I had a friend scold me because I didn't, uh, I didn't bring him the Lennox. There's a whole box full of it. You should have brought me that box. 
That was Linux, don't you know? All right, here's a Tiffany lamp, so that's nice. So we found a genuine Tiffany lamp. Ah, those are always good to find because they're worth tens of thousands of dollars. So that's what we just, uh, we just made tens of thousands of dollars. Isn't that excellent? Oh, I see a wire in there. Where's that wire? Oh, it's coax. Nope, that's not coax. Not coax at all. All right, so we're gonna have to check this box. Plastic cups. A couple of big nails. You guys want some big nails? That's a niblet. Big nail, big nail. Oh. Campbell's soup. All right, what's next? Ironing board. Picture frames. Kitchen crap. You see the address label? Hope you didn't. Hope you didn't see the address label. Wow. Griswold. They just spelled it wrong, I think. I thought I threw that back in the other ladies' pile. Sorry. All right, this one's a Griswold, right? Yep. Somebody at the Griswold factory needs a uh, spell checker, though. It's a lost art in America. Spelling. All right, uh, we're not gonna let this fall over. And I guess, I guess that's the end of that. So that was a fun little pile. And I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit before I go because I'll look at Snoopy. Right. Drink more pumpkin juice. Make mine a pizza. That cost a dollar fifty. Halloween's right around the corner. All right, um, yeah, that was a fun little pile. I'm glad we got here first. I'm only blocking half the street this time. But I don't wanna make that mistake where you like go up and around and get screwed over. Ooh, look at this funnel. Beer bong funnel. All right, if you say so. What else is in here? that scented oil oh my god that probably smells good do I really want the funnel oh I can't live without it what's in here oh coat jeez look at that oh look I'm so glad I went in here it's like some little train junk look at these like tiny little baby trains oh my god Come back. Come back, stupid. And just between you and me, I, I think that's better than the coach, the coach leatherware. Let's see what kind of music they were into. Roy Orbison, Jean-Pierre Rompal, Urethra Franklin. Uh I'm gonna say we can leave that for the other the other pickers. Oh, there you go! Wow, that was so fun. We found little cool trains and junk.
that box is gonna stay mint right there on top of that bucket. There's so much stuff here you can't see, but you gotta see this. The hibachi. This is what we used to have when I was a kid. Hamburgers on the hibachi. What a great invention. I have kind of a hard time understanding like when people spend $4,000 on a grill, but you know, to each his or her own, I guess. Look at my fun little eagle that I found on some lady's lamp. Check them out. Isn't that the neatest thing? I don't know. Maybe he's not. What do I know? All right, this is the neatest thing. That's right. Wonder if this is stainless. Kinda hope it isn't, but I bet it is. They usually are. I mean, non-magnetic non stainless. Obviously it's stainless. If it is, we're gonna need our 14-er. All right, Mr. Birdie, go up there. Go up there with Snoopy. There you go. Where's the magnet? There it is. Yeah, all right. So, you guys see in there? Really? Make myself look like a rank amateur over here. Ow, oh, I just hit my head on that thing too. That really hurt. Now I'm all butterfingers. All right, you guys don't need to watch me do this, right? And I mean, no offense, but if, like, if you're watching, it just makes it harder for me. So, I'm loosening nuts. See, that's it. All right, I'll see you at the next thing. The bolts were being troublesome, so I figured out a... More innovative way to do it. <laughs> oh God, don't leave garbage in the street. Did I just get out my tubing cutter? I thought I did. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut these. Oh, actually, no I don't. They fit just fine. Ish. said they fit just fine. Don't leave that on the side of the road. Because A, it's an awesome tool, and B, it'll puncture somebody's tire. That's right. In America, we have flat tires. In jolly old England, you get to puncture. A puncture on your tire. And it's spelled T-Y-R-E. I'm very cosmopolitan, you know. This guy yelled at me once, but I guess all is forgiven. Uh, wow. I guess we're in Chicago, right? I wonder how much disassembly I could get away with with this guy. I don't really want your coaster brake back wheel. Definitely don't want your front wheel. Hmm. If you guys want to use our new 15 millimeter ratcheting wrench that we found the other day? I know I do. Yeah, look at that pig.
bent at a weird angle, isn't it? Oh, I see. It's it flip flops for you. I can't believe this is even coming off. I can't believe it's coming off. It's coming off, whether you like it or not. Get off. All right. Back wheel, that's not salvageable. Oh. What's that? Is that a rust hole? Huh. All right, I say we throw this thing in the car while we're... I don't want that wheel though. Oh, you know what we can do maybe? Never. Let's be of good cheer. Let's be hopeful. Where's your little adjustable wrench? Why are all my tools always hiding from me? Right, at this point, maybe we can do it like this. holding you guys in my crotch right there. And yes, I understand that that's a mongoose back wheel, but I don't want it. All right, I'm gonna get real brave here. Real brave, real brave. Real brave. What do you think of the chances that that thing's gonna come out? I'm seeing zero. Zero chance. Ugh. Holy cow. Um, you think a little spritz would help? Here, here's what we'll do. Pop the trunk and if this guy gives us any guff, we'll just throw the bike in there and leave. Here you go. No way. Ugh. 
no way. You believe that? All right. What are the chances we get that seat post out of there? While we're here, we might as well give it a whirl. Here's your pipey pipers then. Don't do this if you're trying to save the seat post, by the way. really, really fused in there. All right, let's stomp on it. See if we can win. <gasps> we won. Did you see it turn? Wow, it turned. All right. It turned a little teeny bit. How's the filming quality of this particular clip? Is it good? You guys enjoying it? It's probably really terrible. Now we can spritz that a little bit. And uh, can't believe that came out like that. Just so we have nowhere left to grip it, really. All right, I think we're gonna leave that for uh, for playtime tomorrow. But one, one more thing we might want to do is uh, get rid of this. How's that gonna treat us? Think it's gonna work? Yep. Hold on, I'll bring you back in for the last one. All right, there's the last one. So, I would say we got everything that we want out of this bike. We could deposit it in the trunk. We'll take the rest of it apart later. And now, we don't have to deal with my man's wheels and handlebars that we don't want. I think that worked out really well. You guys want to look at a motor scooter? Oh, this thing's just too cool. The Black Widow. After you ride it, it eats you. Um, yeah, I want this thing, but you know what?
Does it fold down? Boom, ba -do 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 -do. Baby, baby, baby. I don't think there's any gas there, I think. Nah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's neat, though. Yeah, I think I'll scoop it up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. It's a roller. Uh, it's half a roller. It's a roller and a dragger. All right, now we own it. Um, not sure exactly how I feel about that, but hey, at the least, at the very least, it's two bucks in scrap. We've only gone like 200 yards and we found a motor already. Look at this. I feel like their dog doesn't want us to take this motor. Wow. That's so neat. Ugh. Monkey Wards. That used to be the store that existed, but nobody ever went to it. Nobody I knew anyway. I don't think it's around anymore though. I wonder who quit, Mr. Montgomery or Mr. Ward? There's probably a lot of tension between those two dudes. You know, Phil, I always thought it should be Ward Montgomery. Oh, geez, Bob, we, we can't change everything now. Montgomery Ward's got such a nice ring to it. All right, Phil, I quit. I think I have everything I need for this job. That's right. Better be 14s. Wow, this one's coming off easy. Easy street. Except my wrench don't want to go on there. What's wrong, wrenchy? Oh, just go on. Just do your thing. All right. Do you guys really need to watch me take these four bolts out? No. No, you don't. I'll see you at the last bolt. All right, we're back. And if I haven't mentioned it lately, I will mention that the 13 and 14 millimeter gear wrenches that I carry with me are indispensable tools. They cover 9 16 and half inch. They work great. These two tools that came as part of the larger set that I have at home are fin Fantastic. And nobody paid me to say that, but if anyone did pay me to say that, I'd say the exact same thing. Here's the awkward pause where I dig into my pocket to get my keys. All right, where do we want to put this? wedge it in behind the mongoose yay I should have took this break off huh that's an embarrassment who the hell put that on there some cobbled together bikes can be fun but you know like have some dignity about it check this out Is that your thumbnail? What is it? I don't know. Whatever it is, I think there's two of them. Yeah. I don't really play the lottery, but uh, I don't know. I was gonna say, well, we just won the lottery, but that's kind of cheesy. I got nothing to say, sorry. We're gonna do a little corporate reorg. All right. I don't want the mongoose to like meet any kind of a sad fate. 
so I think it's gonna ride up front with us for the rest of the time being. On top of the Black Widow, it took me forever to figure out how to, like you pull this thing up, right? And then it tilts, but I didn't know how to do that. It's a good thing I didn't have that on camera. All right, there's your number two copper lady. Let's put your motor down in the motor department. Oh, that pan. Wow. Maybe we'll find enough copper tonight so we can fill that whole bucket with copper. Why am I doing both of these at once? Ugh. I don't know, I feel like it. You know what I also feel like? I feel like I'm the only dude out here right now. Which I'm not, because I've seen two other dudes. But those other dudes like... They kind of come and go, you know? Ah. There's some of us who live far away from these places. So once we get here, we're kind of in for the duration. But the dudes who live locally, they kind of come and go. So I think those other dudes came and went and they'll come back out later. So I might be the only guy out here right now. So eat your hearts out, other guys who aren't out here right now. I'm pretty sure this is coax, but the way things are going tonight, who knows? Yeah, that's just coax. All right, it was worth double checking though. I'm pretty sure I see two giant steel hoops, or maybe just one. My God, what is that? It's like the rim off a manhole or something. All right. This is a good thing we pulled the mongoose out of there. There's more too. one bit at a time. It's crazy the stuff you see out here because I've never had one of these before. I don't really know what it is, but it's pretty wild. Look at that. Big, huge piece. I think we spent too much time dicking around with that mongoose though because my memory card's almost out of space. India. Is that your thumbnail? Probably not. All right, we're almost done with this town though. We're doing the thing that I tell you guys never to do, which is drive by a pile and then go up and around the cul-de-sac and then go back to the pile. Because, you know, I could lose out right now. I really could. But sometimes you uh, make these choices and it works out for you. But I would just say, in general, I should have pulled right over instead of going around the loop-to-loop. -loop. 
Now, is this one of those ones that ain't gonna come out? Yep. Where are we gonna put it? Maybe it'll come out. We'll see. Where's our wrench? Wow, where is our wrench? I see one. Car is just so loaded with goodies that we can't even find our wrenches. That's not a bad problem to have. things coming out good now oh, 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 oh yes it's one of the good ones all right where are we gonna put it I guess we could put it right right there in the thick of things Oh, I accidentally flipped it over and the dirt accidentally came out of it. Hmm. That was a serendipitous accident. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. You guys want to use momentum? Wow, that worked. Damn, that's a crazy thing. All right. Uh... You want to squash this tub now? No, we'll save it, I guess. There. That's not going to annoy me. There's a school bus driving by right now. And the bus driver just cut me off at a rotary like 20 minutes ago. So I feel vindicated that I got to this little cul-de-sac first. How petty and pathetic is that? I would say it's real petty and pathetic. What's this? I think that's a metal detector. I guess we don't need it because we already found all the metal. We already detected it. You guys want to do a little crying together? Just wait till you see what we're going to be crying about. Yes, we're crying because we can't take this gorgeous piece of metal. <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. Oh. How'd they even get it out of the house? <laughs> Holy cow, that thing's huge. All right, we can take this part. <sighs> See, if I was a real scrapper, I'd have like a truck or something. That's what I'd have. I wouldn't have a truck. I'd have like a truck or something. But if I was a real scrapper, I'd have a truck. And with that truck, I'd be able to uh, manhandle these pigs. But since I do not have a truck and I don't think they're gonna let me borrow their Escalade, imagine that, oh, excuse me, sir. Could I borrow your $70,000 vehicle? I need to go to the, uh, the scrap yard with the metal you just threw away. And it won't fit in my car.
I know at least one guy who probably would ask somebody that, but I wouldn't. Anyway, look at this crazy stuff. See, that one I probably could, like, if there was nothing else going on today, I could probably fit that in the back seat or something, but that pig, that pig ain't going nowhere. It's a tragedy, isn't it? You want to see if this guy's got anything in his toolbox? He's got things on his toolbox, but does he have anything in his toolbox? Only one way to find out. Lift the lid. Wow, that's a nice box. Took all his goodies out. Nothing in there for us. I don't know. That's the kind of box that like, probably be pretty hard to sell, but if you just needed like a beater box for your garage or something, it'd be a nice one. I do not need that though, so I'll leave it here. You guys want to conclude our night by taking a bike that no one's going to buy? Wow. This bike is really pretty. I shouldn't take it. No one's gonna buy it. But I like it. Look at those Araya rims. Why am I doing this to myself right now? I don't know. Glutton for punishment, I guess. Just such a pretty bike, too. All right, where's my uh, pedal wrench? Because I guess we're, I guess we're doing this. so weird when the neighbor pulls in. Anyway, do you guys really need to see me disassemble this thing? Oh, both neighbors pulled in. No, I mean, I guess, I guess we're kind of done. We got that copper thing, we got a trunk full of metal, we got the Procter & Gamble thing, we got a genuine Tiffany lamp that's 100% real, we got the lottery things, we got the mongoose, we got the Black Widow, what a great night. And uh, I only went around town once probably gonna go around again but you guys are off the hook I hope you've enjoyed it this far and if you haven't well thanks for watching anyway